it was uh, the beginning of COVID-19 was really an interesting time for all of us. And um, um, the, the people in municipalities and our client partners, as well as other municipalities across Canada that I was able to, to speak with, everybody was, of course, running around um, in, um, in their own EOCs trying to figure out what, you know, what was going on and, and getting the latest news and making decisions on that. It was, um, it was fascinating. And um, of course, our public consultation side, all of the surveys stopped. Most of the e-newsletters that we were supporting municipalities stopped. The customer satisfaction measurement programs that we were supporting with municipalities, most of that data coming in dried up because libraries were closed and recreation centers were closed and city halls were closed and so on. So, um, you know, we were, we were very much focused on digital forms and how we could digitize information because that's an area where it, municipalities, I must say, are to some degree behind the times. Uh, some of them have some, some great online tools and it's generally the municipalities that have newer websites that have those in place. Um, but there's still a lot of municipalities that will have a link to a, a PDF or maybe even a, 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 a fillable PDF, but it's still a PDF and um, often that's not the most efficient way of managing a data. So that was one area that, that, um, that we really looked at and said, gee, what, what could we do to help municipalities with that? So when COVID-19 came in, we, we focused on COVID-19 related research, very specialized research, and, and were able to assist many uh, municipalities with that area to bring on some e-learning programs such as our COVID-19 awareness e-learning course, which we developed and um, provided to a number of municipalities so that they could educate their staff and bring them up to a level of understanding. And then the, um, the additional component that we did was really to focus on the digital forms. And early on, we anticipated that there was going to be a um, a restriction of who went into city halls and who went into public facilities. So we had created, in conjunction with the city of Surrey, probably back in, oh, probably May um, of 2020, a screening tool. So a COVID self-screening tool that staff could use to, um, to report basically to the municipality before they entered work what their exposure rates were and so on. And it wasn't until November when the public health um, office came out with the further requirements for you know, public facilities to ensure that they were protecting people that were in the building and making sure that the staff were abiding by the, um, the COVID-19 um, protect, protection measures. So we had this uh, digital form all ready to go uh, over one weekend. I think I received an email from one of our clients saying, hey, I know you have this. Can you get it ready to go? We need it for Monday. And that was probably a, a Saturday around five o'clock or something like that. And, and um, just so happened I was sitting in a global pandemic and I didn't have much to do. And I just jumped on this email. And, jumped on this digital form. And so by Sunday morning, we had it all worked out. And by Monday morning, we had it to that client and a couple of other uh, uh, client partners as well. And, um, and then we realized that, oh, this is, this is farther afield than just our current client partners and, and reached out to BC Municipal Safety Association. And they were willing to, um, to get it out to as many of their members and as many BC municipalities as, as they could reach, which is great. And we made the decision in support of our, our client base, which are all municipalities, that we would provide this COVID-19 self-screening tool free of charge to any municipality or really public agency that wanted to use it. And in a matter of a about, I think it was a month, um, there was three dozen 
well, more than three dozen municipalities um, took us up on that offer and we were able to roll out, um, for the most part, customized solutions to each one, various levels of customizations, and started very quickly um, being able to manage the, the, the check-in, the health check-in every day for municipal staff around the province. So I think in the end, it's you know, tens of thousands of, of um, screens that have been done through that tool. And, um, and one of those things feels really good. And, and uh, I, I suspect that the, the client partners that we've worked with also feel really good about being able to access a, a tool like that, especially when they were um, in such a crunch to get it done. And they were thinking about using paper. And of course, with paper, then you have pens and then you have transmission of uh, virus through pens and all of these things. So it was even to the point that one municipality, the city of Coquitlam, because we had provided QR codes, uh, city of Coquitlam came up with the idea of printing the QR codes on business cards and handing them out to all the staff. So the staff would have an easy way to, while they were in their car, in the, in the parkade or in, you know, at home before they came into the office, they would just scan the QR code, complete their COVID-19 self-screening tool, and, and then come in to work. And if for whatever reason they you know, failed any of those questions, then they would get immediate information on their, their device, whether it was uh, a mobile phone or a computer or whatever. And then the, um, the appropriate people within City Hall would also be alerted that that staff member may have um, come into contact uh, with somebody with COVID-19 and, and um, um, they were being directed to not come into any of the facilities. So it was um, pretty successful. It's still, of course, being, um, of course, it's still being used by um, all of those municipalities and um, we're happy to have participated in that even though nobody ever wanted to, um, uh, to jump into that, that side of the world or, or have to have a tool like that. But it was great that we were able to, to have it kind of in the can and, and roll it out and uh, help all those municipalities and also develop great uh, relationships with, you know, all three dozen new client partners.